getting... If you, okay, if you were Mario Lopez, right, uh -huh. and you had that Lopez heat, what would you do with it? Um, well, that's a great question, Travis. Me, a restaurant for dogs. Okay, and... Yeah, no, that makes sense. No humans allowed here. Oh, and I call it Gone to the Dogs. Does that I might a just Mario do Lopez that. joy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't try to get something. You wouldn't try to get something even Lopez adjacent in there. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> All the waiters would be dressed like Mario Lopez. Listeners, if you're wondering why the last 30 seconds of the show has gotten a little laggy, that's the sound of all of us trying to come up with some sort of dog-related pun for a restaurant <laughs> starring Mario Lopez <laughs> caters to dogs. We have, as you can tell, so far been unsuccessful. Uh, Lopez? In this effort. Is there Lopez? Lope Mario Lopez. <laughs> Gone to the dogs. This is pretty good. That's his pet story. Gone to the dogs. Gone to the dogs 2. Mario Lopez. <laughs> sequel to my last joint. Oh, it's like how uh, Bill Murray made like a Caddyshack restaurant that was like all golf themed. Mario Lopez, his mistake was he made the dog themed restaurant first and then he spun that off into the movie Mario Lopez What If Mario Lopez Had Been a Dog the movie based on the restaurant. I don't think this needle no, is going to yeah. get threaded, gang. Nope. Well, listen, hey, we we had a good effort. And <laughs> Hello, everybody. We'll it it's me, Socrates, the inventor of jokes, and I'm here to congratulate you on finding the impossible <laughs> joke. The joke <laughs> that can't be told. Oh, I knew we discovered it. It only took us six years. Thanks, Socrates. Thanks for letting us know now. You worked uh, hard. You found a lot minutes. of difficult concoctions over these past six years, but you found the two subjects that cannot be combined to create humor <laughs> out of it. I'm Socrates. <laughs> you can keep trying, but you're only wasting your time and the listener's time. If you're a listener right here, <laughs> and you are probably have already cooked up two or three humdiggers, do not Fucking no, dead. I'm telling you, don't even tweet those shits. They suck. I'm telling you, I'm Socrates. <laughs> now, Socrates, did you discover the same combination during your time? Is that how you you know that there's nothing but uh, 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 darkness on this path? I did. I looked into the crystal lens. <laughs> I looked into the crystal lens, and I saw Mario Lopez. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Got a hand up under that toga, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I masturbated to the crystal. Yeah. And then I, I foresaw, I was like, what if he owned a restaurant for dogs? And everyone thought that was so whimsical. And they were all perched on the edge of their seats because I was performing at the Apollo. That, it was a different Apollo. It was for, like for the god. And anyway, uh, I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't get, couldn't Is that could why you got finish. poisoned? Sorry? Is that why you got poisoned? Was that you? Yeah, Did that was me. They killed on? me right there on the spot. And that's where the term to die on stage came from. But I died happy, didn't I, looking at Mario Lopez? <laughs> so wait, you're looking at it. Let me get this straight. You're looking at a lens of Mario Lopez in front of people beating it. The crystal lens. <laughs> you're <laughs> masturbating in you, front of an audience. You are already on some fucking Andy Guys, Kaufman experimental comedy shit, huh? Bros, this was like either Rome or Greece. <laughs> I'm not sure sort of when I operated. But anyway, yeah, that's <laughs> like sort of while. common procedure. You're not enjoying a, a good sporting event or a good joke or a wedding <laughs> or a, a bar mitzvah? Nope. We probably didn't have those back then, but... Anyway, yeah, I was having myself a good old toga talk. Toga I mean, that's why you had the togas in the first place, right? Yes. Access. Now you're getting it. <laughs> Am I? Well, Socrates, thank you so much for coming by and saving us the trouble. We would have just kept bashing our heads against this thing. Yeah, nobody wants to hear that. I'm actually speaking to you through the crystal now. Before I died. Oh shit, that's a paradox. Oh shit! That's weird. His apparition, his apparition just like deleted itself from. That was weird. Just like Barkio Lopez. Is that like a thing? Is that no? Is that just close. Hey, I'm back. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> All my hypotheses, they're ruined. <laughs> this changes everything. <laughs> just Barkio Lopez. We're gonna enter <laughs> there into it is like again. Universe B.